All right, first and foremost, we like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baasham Yahushai, Baasham Raka Kadash. We like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well, who teach us this truth to the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Baasham Yahushai. Peace and salutation to the Akim the Mori who push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is the brothers from Trinidad Camp coming to turn our lesson to feed the lek at the house of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Now, I'll entitle this lesson. Physical Israel is spiritual Israel. You know, I had a debate with some Seven Days Adventists yesterday, and basically they were saying that, you know, it's not physical Israel, you know, but all the nations that believe on, on, on Christ, you know, them is spiritual Israel. Them is the ones that, you know, who, who believe, you know, on the Messiah is who he's going to receive, who he's going to deliver. You know, salvation is for also. You know, and it's not so that it's not according to scriptures because these other nations was never in agreement with the Lord. Them was never in a covenant with the Lord. Right? Because the the ones who was in agreement with the Lord is, you know, the chosen the chosen seed from Abraham. From Abraham unto Isaac and unto Jacob. The Lord didn't deal with these other nations when you read Psalms 147, verse 19. You know, he didn't show these other nations his wisdom that was given unto Israel. You know, when Israel, you know, he sinned, you know, the Lord turned his eyes away from them. But guess what? He showed them mercy, you know, and, and make a, a new covenant with them. Right? So it, it shows that, you know, he, he's the same people from old, is the same people today the, the Lord dealing with. Same Israelite, same physical Israelite. You know, Israel ain't die out, as people are saying, Ecclesiastes, there is no end of a people. You know, a nation don't die out, it live on through generation, through children, children, children. Right? So, the whole Bible, you know, it based, you know, on Israel, salvation, you know, for Israel, the Lord always deliver Israel out of trouble, you know. Not these heathen, as people are saying, you know, what nation so great. You know that, that that kept thy precept like Israel, but not the heathen. The heathen then kept kept this. This wasn't given to them. Right? So you know, the light bring out, you know, the John 3 16, you know, but you know, they do have the understanding. You know, to look up the meaning of words, you know, when they hear the word Gentiles, you know, they would just go off on. You know, they do err not knowing the scriptures. You know, so we're gonna get into a lesson today. You know, to prove, to show that the Lord only dealing with Israel, not dealing with these nations, salvation is not for them. Right? So you can get um, John 3, start at verse 14. Book of John chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Yeah, so as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, who did lift up the serpent too? Right? Not the whole world. They wasn't in the wilderness. You know, we, we will get that. If you can get Numbers 21. Numbers 21 verse 6. For Numbers chapter 21 verse 6. The Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. Sat at verse 5. Verse 5. And the people speak against power and against Moses. Wherefore have he brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul will live this light bread. Yeah, they just show how, how rebellious Jacob is and no gratitude. Right? That the Lord deliver all out of hard bondage. And you all come into Burma here now. That you know you bring we in the wilderness to dead. Why we could have we could have leave we in Egypt where it had food. You know, they they the mindset of Jake. You know? Go ahead. See the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. 
yeah so everyone that you know was bitten by this fiery serpent you know and was dying you know the lord you know the people you know he pray and ask moses you know he pray until the lord you know to forgive we and the lord you know give moses a command to do this that everyone you know who was bitten you know he to look up to this look up to this you know and they shall live you know so we go back to the john 3 6 the john 3 back to 14 John chapter 3 verse 14 and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up yes so must the son of man be lifted up through him there is life there is saving there is deliverance just as Moses lifted up that serpent in the wilderness and the, the, the live when they was bitten eh, and they look up to that you know eh, the live you know so must the son of man be lifted up Right, so that serpent was lifted up to the Israelites in the wilderness, not sin against the, the, the power. Right, so it's the same thing that Yahweh Shai come for, you know, to be a savior unto his people. Right, the Lord sent him to, 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 to bring back Israel to, to, to him. Right, not these other nations, there was no way to be found, they was not amongst us, they was not there. Right, so the Lord just gained our front just as how Moses did that, and the people was saved. That is how we had to go kiss the sun. We had to go through Yahweh Shai. Right? That is the only way where there is life. He is, he is life. And we had to go through him. We can't go to the Father. We had to go through the Son. Right? He's going to present with the Heavenly Father. So we had to go through He for eternal life. Right? Read on. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Yeah, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have eternal life. Which is to, to, to live, just as how the serpent was, was lifted up. Right? So a lot of them, you know, the word they says, you know, when they hear the word whosoever. But guess what? They doesn't read two verses up to get the proper understanding who was in the wilderness. Right? Who was, the, you know, that serpent lifted up to? Right? Which was the children of Israel. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Hebrews 2 verse 17. Okay, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 17. Therefore, in all things, they behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to Yahweh, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. To make what? Reconciliation. For the sins of the people. Right? He was, oh, he was made unto his brethren because he came out from that lineage. He came out from that seed. If you can look up that word, reconciliation. Conciliator oneself to become propitious, be persuaded or peace to be propitious, be gracious, be merciful, to expiate, make propitiation for. Yeah. To make a, a see, we say a propitiation, and who we make that propitiation for? For the sins of Israel, for the children of Israel, to bring them back, right? To bring them back to the Heavenly Father. Right? It's so like, yeah, it say to make reconciliation for. Now, if, if it's new people coming into the fold, then they wouldn't need to be reconciled for anything because they wasn't there from the beginning. So the people that was there from the beginning fell out. And you yeah, know you yeah, have to come back and grab them back in. That way the adoption, is going, that way the adoption goes into as well. It's not that it's new people coming in. But the same people that was lost coming back to the things that they once knew. Can. That's right. Yeah, Joshua 7, verse 11. Joshua chapter 7, verse 11. Israel had sinned 
they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and assembled also, and they have put it even among their own stock. Yes, so Israel, Israel sinned. So that reconciliation for the sins, they were your shy, you know, he, he came for. Because Israel, Israel transgressed, Israel sinned, you know. And he's going to bring them back to the Heavenly Father. He's going to give them that, that, that breath of life. Right? He's going to blow back that breath of life, that life into them. Right? Because you see, he's going to come back in the volume of the book. Right? If you give um, Isaiah 50, verse 1. Because when Israel sin, you know, the Lord gave them a bill of divorcement, he put them away. Right? So he gonna, he gonna, the Lord going to bring them back. He's going to show mercy on Jacob. Right? And he's going to bring them back. Go ahead. Look at Isaiah chapter 50 verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have ye sold yourselves. And for your transgressions is your mother put away. Yes, yeah, so it shows that who need who need saving here? The men them who are under the law. They where your shy come for. Right? Go ahead. Book of Matthew chapter nine verse thirteen. Okay. See, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So yeah, how was I clearly stating that he came to call sinners to repent, to, re to reconcile, right, to bring them back, and with sin transgression of the law. So it's not if these these other nations did have the ability to sin because the law wasn't given unto them. So if he coming to call sinners. Who capable of sinning? Israel. Can they capable of breaking the laws? Yeah. In them, you yeah, Romans 9. Verse 3. Look at Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertained the adoption and the glory. The covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh, and the promises. All right, so it shows that the Israelites were given of the law, the service, and the promise. You know, them could sin, you know, and I repent. All right, go ahead. Whose are the fathers, and of whom was concerning the flesh of Mashiach King? Yeah, it's concerning. Read it again. And whose are the fathers, and of whom was concerning the flesh of Mashiach King? Yeah, concerning the flesh, who Yahweh Shai came. They who he came for. The ones who was given the law. The adoptions and the covenant that was Israel, right? Not these other nations, you know. The, the scriptures it plain, it, it, it right there, you know, right? But it show you know, the Lord not dealing with all Israel, wisdom was not, you know, manifest unto many, and that's why you know, you see Jake, you know, that's a stumbling block to Jake, you know, and then then the God of this world blinded them. Right. But the word um, flesh of oh, Dana Biblical usage it says flesh, the soft substance of the living body, it covers the bones and is permeated with blood. It says the body, the body of a man. Um, one see say the sensuous nature of man. One see, one see three, a living creature, possessed of a body of the flesh, whether man or beast. Go down to the strong's definition it say Mention the body. It say, or as the means of kindred, or by implication, human nature. So you see, talking about actual flesh, you understand? He came concerning the flesh, kindred. You know, you go back to kindred. So what flesh did he come for? Israel, to be made like he was made like unto his brethren. So it's quite. Or it says concerning the flesh, he came. And thou shalt bring forth a son, call his name Yahushai, shall save his people from their sins. So it's quite obvious he came for specifically for Israel and none else. 
Can I mean, if you could go in that would um Kins, right? Yeah. The outline of biblical usage of the same kin, a kin related by blood, related by what? By blood, related by blood. Uh, we don't see in a wider sense of the same nation, a fellow country, the same nation. Yeah. It is evidence that our Lord sprang out from the tribe of Judah, uh, yeah. right? So he came in the flesh to die for who? his people who were under the covenant, right? We will prove that too. We came for. Yeah, look. Look one. Start at verse sixty-eight. The book of Luke, chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Say, Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for He had visited and redeemed His people. Redeem, He had redeemed His people. Hey, look, look up that word, redeem. G 3085 Lutrosis. The outline of the of biblical usage is a ransom in redemption, deliverance from the penalty of sin. From the penalty of sin. Okay. So who was selling the children of Israel to deliver them from their sins? Right? Luke 168, the be the Lord power of Israel. For he had visited and redeemed his people and had raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As yeah, because he, he came from that same lineage. Right? Joseph came from that same lineage at David, from the tribe of Judah. So that's why, you know, the same way of the house of his servant David because of the lineage. Good. So as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So Yahweh Shai, the, the prophets of old actually prophesied of Yahweh Shai in Isaiah and Ezekiel. So you, these people, hey, you Christians, really don't understand. Because the Old Testament, you know, let's act like the Old Testament done away with. But it, Yahweh Shai, as the brother said, he came in the volume of the book. And he came to fulfill. What did he fulfill? The things that were spoken of, spoken of him. He came and well, he died for sins. He became the ultimate sacrifice. Right through his blood, we will receive salvation, perfection. And then you know, Isaiah 11, the Lord will reach, reach, um, reach out his hand a second time for like a um, better words to recover the remnant of his people. Right? And prior, they go up a couple of verses. I was talking about a line of Jesse. So it obviously, Yahweh he came to fulfill the things that were spoken of him. And I didn't say that here has raised up, raised up a son, um, a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So it's not, it's not the New Testament is some, not some new magical thing to where the Gentiles get grafted in. Yeah, well, it just well, it's same, it's the same thing. The Old Testament and the New Testament is the same thing, and all you people just can't realize. We don't. Verse 71 that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hit us. Yeah, so it shows that you know we have enemies. You know, the Lord actually name all some of your enemies when you read Psalm Psalm 33. That the Lord name all some of your enemies, you know. They hate your bash from your shy, guess what? They're gonna hate you. You know, these are the ones who are pressing we, you know, who hold us who holding us captives, you know, right now, you know, in slavery. You know, because slavery ain't done away. You know, we still in the hands of our slave master. You know, we still under their, their rulership. You know, and your Basham Yosha, he coming to, to destroy. He coming to tear down. He coming to deliver we. And the brother bring out Isaiah 11. The Lord gonna set his hand a second time. You know, the second Exodus. Right? Go ahead. See, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, Again. that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, 
the holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest for thou shalt go before the face of the lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins yeah to give knowledge of salvation unto his people hey, to, hey, renew your mind turn back be, be born again how could a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed unto thy word and this is why you know, I say now he that believe it on me as the scripture said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water the lord came back in the volume of the book that is the comforter that is the truth that is the way to immortality the way to life right it is written of your shy right you know so the ones who need to be redeemed back is the same ones of all who are under the the first covenant you know we will go into that look at the hebrews 8 you know the more proof more evidence hebrews 8 will start at 8 Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8 For finding fault to them he said Behold the days come, say the Lord When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel And with the house of Judah With the house of who? Israel and with the house of Judah Yes, yeah, so that new covenant is going to be made With the house of Israel and with the house of Judah Right? The Lord will make that, that new covenant We are going to place his laws in our minds Right? We're going to be out of these bodies, you know, we're going to be in that glorious bodies, that celestial bodies. You know, these bodies not subjected to sin. And the Lord said, you know, he's going to cause us to keep the commandments that we see, he's going to sprinkle clean water. Right, so that new covenant, we're coming into that new covenant. You know, we're rehearsing the righteous act, preparing for that new covenant to be restored on the same people of old. Who could not keep the first covenant. It's the same people who you're going to made it with. Look at it, it playing it, saying it here. There's no way all could get around this. Go ahead. It's so like, yeah, see, where it says with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Some of these Christians that actually tell us the house of Israel is spiritual Israel, and the house of Judah is the, the physical Israelite. I, I heard that already. Where the, the man was basically saying the house of Israel is the spiritual Israelites, right? Which is. The Gentiles that have faith, and then the house of Judah is referring to the ones that were of the flesh, and that is where the new, the new covenant is for everyone. Yeah. We will prove that, is, that, 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 that is not so, yeah. right? Verse, verse 9 Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant. That I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in, in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. Yeah, they're going to be to him a people. You know, so it shows that the, the promise was made for the righteous seed. Uh, Abraham, that right, the righteous lineage. That right, the scripture saying, um, Galatians 3. This. 16 Book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 16 Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made Yeah but you see where it say Singular Seed um, A particular seed Not everybody but a particular seed Go ahead So he said not unto seeds as of many Not of the seeds of many Abraham had many sons He had about 6 with Keturah Ega and um, Sarah. It's a right. As of one unto thy seed, which is a Mashiach. Yeah, unto uh, thy seed, which is a Mashiach. You know, it, and, and this is true, you know, it, Isaac. Can. He was your shy. Okay, it says, it, you know, these, they wouldn't read it like that, but they literally said that to thy seed, which is your shy. And who was the chosen son? Isaac. Isaac is ya, was your shy. The 17 and this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yahweh in Hamashiach, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul and should make the promise of non effect. Mm -hmm. Right, 
Galatians 3, I start at verse 28. It says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Yahweh Shai. And if ye be Hamashiachs, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. <laughs> you see, it say, Those that believe will also be Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. So it's not that. You have those of the flesh and then those that believe. The ones that are of the flesh will believe. It's, it's not a separation. So you have the whole Israel and a remnant in Israel that of that flesh will also have the faith of Yahweh Shai. That why I said, then are ye, if you be of Yahweh Shai, then you'll be of Abraham's seed too because these other nations, they don't have that spirit within them. Only Israel have it. And it says, heirs according to the promise. Who is the heirs according to the, what promise? Do you understand? And we read that in, um, in Romans. In the Romans. We read that in Romans 9. Right? Yeah, we say Romans 9 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of Yahweh, and the promises. So who the heirs is the Israelites that believe in Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And this is why a lot of them just go off it when they hear the word Greeks. You know, and this is why you know they doesn't like to look up, you know, the word, you know, which is is um Greek speaking Jews Damn. who took the Greek customs who were Israelites. Right? Just as today, you know, we scatter to the four corners of the earth, you know, we call myself, you know, African American, you know, we, you know, Trinidadians, Jamaicans, Haitians. We are we are the trainer of Basham or Shai. That's why the scripture say in Exodus twelve right one law shall be to him that is home born that born in the land and to the stranger that sojourn it the israelite foreigners that born in strange places that born in foreign countries right it's the same law to them because they are israelite goes back to, to the house of the fathers they were a lineage come from the from the seed of man right the um sirach 44 19. Book of Sirach, chapter 44, verse 19. See, Abraham was a great father of many people. In glory was there none like unto him, who kept the law of the Mosai and was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. Go ahead. Therefore he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in his seed. In his seed, singular again. And that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from the river unto the utmost part of the land. With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's seed. Well, right, so you see, he's going to exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea from river unto the uttermost part of the land okay. Israel gonna rule they're gonna hey, they're gonna country the world was made for them so there is actually a, a proof showing who salvation for here okay. these were they're gonna inherit that chosen line that chosen seed right go ahead say for Abraham his father's sake and the blessing of all men on the covenant okay. read it back from 22 again all right with Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's sake the blessing of all men and the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob he acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him an inheritance and divided his portions among the twelve tribes did he part them yeah so he divided <laughs> among the who? the twelve tribes of Israel so from Abraham unto Isaac unto Jacob he fathered twelve sons yeah. who are the Israelites today so we see who the promises was made for. Who gonna inherit from sea to sea, from river unto the uttermost part of the land. Yeah, was shy going to prepare a place for who? For the China Israel. He didn't tell the heathen them that, that I going and prepare a place for the Chinese or the Japanese. No. He gonna prepare a place for the Israelites. That who he come for. Because Yahweh Shai kept he kept the faith, he kept the laws of the Heavenly Father. We father sent him to do. He did it and he did it perfectly right and the lord said as i say these things were spoken you know concerning you know your shy coming you know even john 
Die wil ook niet in die wee voor jou als jy. You know, to come to a, to baptize them with, with, with fire. You know, the Lord word is like fire. You know, through the scriptures. Right? So, so the Lord speak to the prophets. Go ahead. So like I say, um, the blessing of all men and the covenant and he made it rest upon the head of Jacob. So you see, it was Abraham. And then Abraham chose, well, the Lord chose Isaac. And then that blessing was rest, rest upon Jacob. Said, well, these people, they don't even look up words or understand the meaning of, of names. Israel literally means ye prince of power. They understand ye prince of the power. A, heir, a, a prince is an heir to the throne. They understand? Because when a king dies, who takes his place? It's his son, the prince. They understand? A prince is an heir to the throne. We are heirs of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We are princes of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because we are Israelites. It's literally in your name. So for you to, to think, these, these other nations, they, don't, they never received nothing like that before. And they will never receive anything like that. They should, the Lord have a chosen people, yeah. and it's Israel. Scripture says, He shall be to them a father, and we yeah. shall be to him our sons. Right? And the reason why you these people can't receive it is because as of Esau. If Esau teach you this, you will not go any churches. You will not want. You will want anything to do with the Bible, because you will come to the understanding that this book have nothing to do with me. You understand? These are about these are about these people who we repute as nothing. They their story. So by and, and if they was to come to as I say, if they was to come to that realization, they more nothing with Christianity and, and all them things. But the so-called white man to keep all they believing that you still have a chance. You understand? You still have a chance. You can still possibly get saved no matter what nation is. And he also doing that to achieve his goal, which is our world domination. Okay. To get everybody on that one, that kind of one movement, kind of ideology. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Can, you know, you, you want to, you know, you want to be like the Mosai. You know, as scripture just say, you know, you want to set his, his, his nest high above the heavens. You want to be like the Mosai. And basically, as sure as, as, as the Mosai will pay it in. You know, in their mind to think to think that way. You know, because hey, you have a plan for them. The Lord gonna deal with them fierce. You know, to have them thinking like that. Just as you know, hey, the Lord, you know, he go pay it into. You know, he saw that. You know, he, he gonna win this fight. You know that. You know, he gonna defeat the Russians, and you know, he, he gonna win. It's in his mind, so he thinking that that he gonna get victory over them. And that is just a delusion, a strong delusion. The Lord have he in. Right, because he's he not going to win. You can't go up against a spiritual being, a force, a power. The scriptures show that the Egyptians are men. The horses are flesh. You can't go up against something spiritual you want to go and deal with. Right? And you know, the scripture, they say that their horses are flesh. If we watch their means of transportation, the tanks and the... the the planes and all these things. Imagine the Lord calling them things flesh. Com compared to he, he vehicles, he saw vehicles made with metal and all them things, it come like flesh. It will be easily torn apart. So the so-called white man cannot stand up against Yahweh Hashem It's just the Lord making him think that. You know, for that miraculous climatic ending. Can. If you get, um, second is verse 15 verse 1. Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1 Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. Yes, we will say, you know, just speak in the ears of his people the words of prophecy, things of old things what was to come. You know, eh, that you know, as the scripture say in um, this is here, Matthew, Matthew 1 21. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai. Yes, she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai, right? For he shall save his people from yes. their sins. For he shall save his people from their sins. And these things was prophesied, you know, in old times. Mm -hmm. When you read the book of um, Isaiah, Isaiah 7, verse 14. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel 
which means Yahweh is with them, which God is with them. Go ahead. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Because he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Come. You know, so he was done coming to refuse evil already. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he was filled with that. He was filled with that knowledge. You know, knowing ways the good and knowing ways the evil and to refuse evil so he was filled even John too John kept the law you know because he was filled with that same Holy Spirit too go ahead say for before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both our kings can and that is exactly what it was they, they had Israel and Judah they didn't have no kings you understand they was, they was fallen they was under slavery under the Romans, you understand, they was completely lost and destroyed, and that is when Yahweh Shai came. Can, yeah, you can get Matthew, um, Matthew 2, verse 5. Look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 5. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. It is written by the prophet, we will not read in Isaiah. Yeah. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Shall rule my people Israel. My people Israel. This is this this is physical Israel. When the Lord deal with Israel, you know, is 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 verbal laws. The Lord deal with them and give unto them. Right? The Lord dealing with them is not no spiritual Israel that they say you know you could convert into Israelite and sort of follow you know and, and, and feel that you know you're gonna get part of this no salvation is not for you all you're not gonna get part of this you're not gonna get part of the Lord inheritance that is for his people Precept right say, um, it is not me to take the children's food and cast it to dogs <laughs> I know this is not for these Gentiles and them. Not everybody can be king. Not everybody cannot be a king. All spirits created cannot just rule on the same level. The Lord set up an order. So yeah, because even when these other nations, when these Gentiles die and they go up to the spiritual realm, they in the spiritual celestial body. But there's still an order. And the order that is in heaven, the Lord the Lord are trying, but the Lord establishing that on earth. Away, the Yahushai will rule, then the, then the Israelites, and then underneath the Israelites will be these other nations. And all the scriptures say the spirit of the prophets, subject unto the prophets. So it's not like you go in and die an Israelite and come back down as a Elamite. What it not it don't work like that. You understand? Wherever you is, you will not be there forever. If you're an Israelite, you'll be an Israelite for eternity. And the same way in the kingdom. In the kingdom when Israelites die and they go up in the kingdom, it have an order. It have an order, you understand? It have a, sep a separation between the Israelites and these other nations in heaven. And that's how it's going to be established on the earth as well. Come. Yeah. The, the, you know, the, the Lord says you're going you, to build back up the, the tabernacle of David as a whole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You know, oh, who that was with? The, the China Israel. Come. You know, just as a whole. So you're gonna come back to, to that state. Right? The Lord gonna plant thy his people. You say you're gonna plant Israel back into Islam and read Maccabees. Right? You're gonna choose, you're gonna yet choose Jerusalem again. Right? So, so it basically shows that we going back the, the kingdom of heaven, you know, that promise, we're going back into the, the land the Father gave unto Abraham, Isaac, and unto Jacob. These things were done promised to them. So we're gonna go back to to our land, these bastards dwelling in the land, defiling the land, right? But the righteous going back there, the righteous going to rule in authority. Even the even the ancient the ancient world in the days of Adam still had a separation. Yeah, the sons of God, yeah, the sons of man, yeah, the sons of the, of the devil, and you always see that that separation because the Lord has always been dealing with His chosen, the sons of God. Right, which is the people of Israel, the princes of power, the heirs of the Mosai, are separate from these other nations because they were created to rule. And the, the nations were created to be ruled, you understand? We were created to rule them. They were made to be servants. And that and when that, that ordinance and those things be established, you will see how the earth will be, it will be a whole different place. 
everybody would be in their natural lot. Kings would be kings. Um, gods would be gods. Servants would be servants. And everything will, will, will strive. But the way the reason the word the word like how it is right now is because it's completely opposite. Kings are slaves and servants ruling and watch what watch what are cause. A the earth is in ruins. Because it have no order. When you must establish that, that order, establish that government, things would flourish. Can. Yeah, and Romans 11 1. Romans chapter 11 verse 1 I say then that Yahweh cast away his people Yahweh forbid for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin yeah, so they Paul say you know, has the Mosai cast away his people to forget about Israel and, and take all the heathens now to say them is spiritual Israel now them is the, them is the true Israelites here now no God forbid the Lord ain't cast away his people Right, the Lord, the Lord rent Israel. Right, you see, for for a moment, he had, you know, he turned, turn, turn away, he turn away from them. So it wasn't forever. A moment is not ever. A moment is not everlasting. A moment is just for a time period. That was to say, we are yet this day in our captivity for where for reproach. You know, we came to serve out a punishment for a period of time. Not forever, so the Mosai didn't cast away his people. That's why he's, scripture say, in the place where we were not a people, there we shall, shall be a people now. where we're going to be the sons of the, of the power. Right? That referred to the China Israel. Not these other nations. Right? Yeah, um, what is second Israel? 15. 1 to 3. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Lord, will speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yes, we see all these, all these tutors of our people that in Christianity, and want to say anyway, otherwise, you know that is not so and you know his salvation is for you know a the white man or the chinese you know hey we, but we study them because them here not knowing the scriptures right and you know it tutors our people in a way when these when these men these wicked Israelites speak who in these churches you know it entice into them it is entice the heirs you know that they want to cleave onto them because they just speak nice. You know that might be song and good, but they fail to realize that not everything that song good is the truth. You know sometimes you know where you might be talking rough. You know they might not like that, but they ain't looking at the history, the truth behind it. Them just studying. You know this man speaking aggressive. You know in our way that can't be the truth when he's speaking like that. You know and that why people say you know when the rich man speak. He could be talking garbage. The people then will cheer for him. But when the righteous man speak, the humble man speak, and he stumble. Hey, they want to but they want to kill he. You say what kind of who's he boy? What kind of man thing is that boy? Yeah. But the white man speaking lies. Yet all leaders cheer him. Yet all leaders worship him. You know, and they used to show the people in gross darkness. Right? Check it um, Romans 10. Verse 2. Okay, Romans chapter 10, verse 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of power, but not according to knowledge. For yeah. they being ignorant of power's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Yeah, they're going about to establish their own righteousness. How you could say that salvation is for the Chinese man, or the white man, or the East Indians? That is all your own, all you're going about establishing all your own righteousness. Go ahead. See, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of power. Yeah, they didn't submit themselves, they didn't humble themselves to the righteousness of, of power. 
right? To, to read, understand the scripture that salvation is of the Jews. He died for the, you know, the, the sins of Israel. Numerous scriptures they can read. Acts, Acts 5 verse 30. It's, you raise up your shy, who is slew, and hang on a tree. He might go to exalt in his right hand to be a prince and a savior unto Israel. So who is the savior? To Israel, your shy. He's the prince, he's the savior. Right? So who all they could say in a way? But he wants the, the Chinese man believe or the white man believe in him, they will be saved. Wait, say that. No way. It say that. All they're going about to establish all your own righteousness. So like, uh, these, you, you tell these dumb niggas that and they will tell you, well, if you cut me and you cut the so-called white man, you will bleed red. <laughs> if you cut any animal, it might, it would bleed red. Does that mean that they use a dog or a cat or a lion or some kind of thing? No. We all have, all creatures have blood. The blood is, is, is the life, you understand? All animals, all living things could bleed, you understand? And, and have blood, that don't mean shit. I was watching a video, this Jake, you know, it was a prank. The Jake was, he was the most racist um, part of some state in America. And he was asking them, well, you know, how you would feel if I impregnate one of your daughters, whatever the case is, and the so-called the Edomite was there, you know, he, he wouldn't he wouldn't like that. Because I defiling defiling his daughter. And he asked him, well, how would you feel having sex with a, a black woman? And the Edomite said he don't wanna do that. He don't wanna mix up his seed and, and he don't wanna def, defile his bloodline to make it look, to make his bloodline look like, like these people. You understand? He sort of care about cut blood cut arm, um, cut skin and blood red and them kind of thing so called white man who no, don't care about them thing them understand these people do not just come out in the public and say do not want to be around all you call all your criminals niggas they, they want to create they want they wanted to build a wall to keep the mexicans out they do not like you people you understand the so called white man does not like you right they just move you know in the um I forget the, the, the name of the, the suburbs and all these things to get away from you people, you understand? That's why you live in the ghetto, them live in the suburbs, you understand? And I, can, you know, and as soon as he, as soon as he J gallon money, <laughs> you want to run to, you want to run by yourself, you want to run to dwell with them. These people want to run from all of them. You want to run to them. You know, and they the mindset of Jake, boy, to show these people, to show, you know, you know, all these religions, you know, what a thing you, know, you had to go through, you had to pay our money to go through, you know, the theology to learn their wisdom, you know, which is lies, you know, because they don't, they're not going to go deep in the scriptures to, to, to show that, you know, hey, all of you chosen people, mm-hmm. you know, they're dealing with these other people, you know, they ain't going to tell all of that, you know, all they're going to be, you know, under, you know, hey, their order, you know, that 501c3, you know, that's, 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 that's part of the wickedness and all these churches, you know, they're under that. Yeah. Right? You get um, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 5. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of your house. Yeah, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, in men, in men wisdom. It's garbage. But stand in the wisdom of your abash from your shy. What is written, you know, is for all learning. Right? Rather than, you know, hey, the white man telling you this. These are the same people who had your ass in slavery. Who had the foot down in all your neck. They going to come to tell all you the truth now? No. They're not. And so like, yeah, the same with the brother, you know, before we saw the video, the brother was talking about, like, felines. Right? Cats. It have different, all of them is cats, but it have different types. There are lions, there are tigers, there are cheetahs, there are pumas, there are house cats, right? What make you think it any different with humans? Like dogs, they are different, they are different, they are pitbull, they are rottweiler, they are pompek, they are german shepherd, different diversity of birds, right? All these creatures in the different genomes, they it have different types of them. It is the same thing with humans. Yeah, we, we, we are different. Yeah, we all we all in the flesh. You understand? We all in the mortal flesh. We all have organs. We all have blood and different nose and features and all these things. But we different. You understand? We the Lord separate. 
the Lord, the Lord divide the nations. We separate. Yeah, we is of the same genome. We can say we is all human beings, but we is not of we is not the same. You have Israelites, you have Elamites, you have Elamites, you have Moabites, you have Ammonites, you have the Hamites and them. Right? With, 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 with different people, you understand? And now this Jake don't wanna hear that. Can I remember I was watching a thing on Oprah. These little Edomites was basically saying that they want niggas to come out of America because they're the holy land. And they don't want Jake in the land, you understand? They want they will carry Jake back to Africa. And them gonna stay in, uh, in they call it New Jerusalem. They say America is the promised land, New Jerusalem. And that way Esau had a that way they want their people to dwell. And Jake had to come out of it. You understand? And a young Jake in the crowd, he hearing these people <laughs> telling them, oh yeah, I, I don't want to in the land. That Jake had to talk about oneness and unity. And, and say, oh, we all bleed red and you know my parents never teach me that and all kind of garbage. Why would you why would you want to be around people that don't want to be around you. The president, the, the Trump, right? Ex-president. As if he wasn't trying to build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. The man said that publicly with no remorse. Yeah. Trump does actually <laughs> lay down. Yeah. Trump does let you know that hey, I don't like fucking all you. Bad my French. <laughs> Trump does actually say it, you know, he. Out of your own mouth, you're not taking iniquity, wickedness, you're gonna lay all you know. I, oh. I do like all you. Yeah. It's plain to see. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, that's why, you know, the Trump, Trump does be plain. Trump does be bold with it. You know, the other president and them, you know, they go sugarcoat it and, you know, the chaos, they ain't go say that, you know, they might pay it in a, you know, yeah. in, in a heights, but Trump does blot it out. Trump does blot it out. You know? You know they continue, get the arm, get the arm. Baruch 2 verse 28 Book of Baruch chapter 2 verse 28 As thou speakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel saying To write the law before the children of Israel So it shows that you know the laws was for them Right? Good If you will not hear my voice Surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. And they, and they didn't hear, they, they, they didn't hear, they didn't hearken unto the words of the Lord. And they were scattered to the four corners of the earth. Go ahead. For verse 20, 30. 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of the captivities shall they remember themselves. Yes, so in the land of the captivities they're going to remember themselves. So the same physical Israel is the same spiritual Israel. But them going to walk in the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Them going to call upon the, the name of the Lord. They're going to turn back to the name of the Lord. Right? They ain't going to be in that carnal mindset. Right? But they're going to walk in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yosha. He do anything pleasing unto the maker. Right? So the same physical Israel is the same spiritual Israel. Right? It's not no Edens. Right? Take the um, second address nine verse seven. A second address chapter nine verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he have believed. Yeah, so let's talk about Israel. Right? We now read in, in Baruch, in the land of the captive. They're going to remember the self and call upon the name of the Heavenly Father. So everyone that shall be saved who, who repent to turn back of the house of Israel, mainly the elect, is the ones that are going to do it. We are going to be able to escape by his works and by faith where, whereby he have believed. Right? The Lord is going to take them up on the chariots. Right? They ain't going to be, they ain't going to be in, in, in the fire. Right? That way scripture say the ungodly. You know, going to die in his... On ungodliness in his unfaithfulness, he's gonna die. You know, two thirds of our people that ain't believe, right? They're gonna they're gonna perish. Seven. Go ahead. Revelation seven. Um, 
7, just a definition I want to get to, of the tribe of Simeon, we see 12,000. If you go into the word tribe, The outline of biblical usage is a tribe in the New Testament, all the, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob, a nation, a people. Right? So, what these people, what these Christians just do, they just say, Well, they the spiritual Israel, which you hear that you had to be a descendant of, of, of Jacob. And they say, all the, all, the ones, all the people in the New Testament. So, that's a clear cut that when he was going to. Um, the Thessalonians, the Ephesians, the Galatians. He was going to Israelites dispersed in these areas. And if you go down to um, verse 9, it say after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and countries and people. I just want to go to the definitions of some of these words. I'll go to nations. Strong's G, 1484, Ethnos, Ethnos. It's a multitude, whether of men or beasts associated or living together, a company, troop, swarm, a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus. Say the human family, say a tribe, nation, people group, Old Testament, foreign nations, worshippers, worshipping the true of pagan Gentiles. Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. So you are obviously at an altar, navigate through these things but say of the same nature or genus right so that is nation i want to look up kindred kindreds strong's g 5443 fule right so tribe and kindred is the is the same word fule which goes back to in the new testament all the persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch Jacob. And I want to go to the last definition. I want to go to people. Strong's G 2992. Laas. Laas. It's a people. People, group, tribe, nation, all those who are of the same stock and language of a great part of the population gather together anyway. You understand? So this whole thing is talking about Israel, people of the same stuff. It's a great part of the population gather together. We all know that the whole world is going to be saved. It's a remnant of the whole of the population that is going to be gathered, you understand? When I talk about you know different languages, you know the different tongues, you know, it's because you know Israel scattered to the four corners of the earth and speaking different languages, tongue going back to language. Right? But they are Israelites. Right now, there is you know, more evidence you know, to show that you know, the heathens, as scripture say, they get in um, yes, second Israel 3 verse 31. Start at verse 31. Second Israel chapter 3 verse 31. I do not remember how this was, how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Or is there any other people that know it be beside Israel? No, what generation had so believed thy covenant as Jacob? Yeah, so are they of Babylon better than they of Zion? They can't be better than we. Okay. We had our, that life, that breath of life was given unto we. That why scripture said this is our wisdom in the sight of the nation. Right? We don't live like the elect, you know, we don't live like, you know, how they just live. Them is beasts. Right? Knowing that some of our people living like them know that for so many ways are your Basha Mesha and, you know, following the traditions are, are men, you know, and living like them, unclean, beasts. Right? But we are, are, are better people than, than all these nations. Right? Go ahead. 33. And yet their reward appeared not, and their labor had no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flew in wealth, and they and think not upon thy commandments. 
we though therefore our wickedness to know in the balance and there's also that dwell in the world and so shall thy name nowhere be found but in israel yeah thy name nowhere to be found but in israel the heathens them do have this they do have the name of the lord so how salvation can be for them <laughs> when they know not the power who bring a salvation right go ahead see verse 5 when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name had kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Yeah, they ain't kept, they ain't kept this. So how them could get our salvation when this was not made for them? Yeah, how they could come in, how they could come into the covenants when this was not made for them? Right. So like, yeah. To these, to these comes others preach that Edomites and all these other nations could be saved. Ask them how many Edomites in their camp. They don't have any, they don't have no Edomites, they don't have no Edomites. These people do not want to be a part of what we are. You understand? You preaching for them that they could be saved, they do not want to be saved, you understand? They don't want, they don't want Yahawashai to come and deliver them. It is not in their spirit, you understand? This has nothing to do with them, because you, as, as an Israelite, preaching that these other nations could be saved yet there's none of them found in your camps you understand and the ones that might come in might stay a while and leave and cut it. this is not for them this is not for them you know okay we'll close up with this last precept guys there 45 to 17. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17 but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation he shall not be ashamed or confounded without end. Yeah, then they, they just to put the icing on the cake to finish it off. Right? Man. You see, who shall be saved? Israel with an everlasting salvation, world without end. As the scripture says in 2 Ezra 6, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it after. Immortality, world without end. For who? Israel. Israel. No way to say the white man or the Chinese or the Japanese or the East Indians or the Ishmaelites. No way it say that. But Israel will without end for Israel. So, you know, you all can't go wrong. Get around this. Right? This is Duff said, you are Basham, you shy. You know? You know, and with that, you know, hope it was edifying. You know, we like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, oh, Basham, you are shy, Basham, you are I like to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, them audio pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth to the brothers from Shinnah.com saying in Shalom. Shalom.